hi guys welcome back to another amazing tutorial today's tutorial is going to be on how to sew a fly zipper you can see this on shorts skirts trousers and if you're not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you get notified let's just go into the tutorial now starting with my short i'm actually sewing a short here and i use the short to illustrate how to sew a fly zipper so i'm going to be attaching my shield this is my shield on one side of the short you can see it's on a fold of two and i've applied some gum stay to it then this is my zip fly this is just a single fabric it's not on a fold of two i also applied my gum stay to it and of course this is my zipper the zip this is a white zip i think it's about an eight inch zip and this is my zip foot presser you know you can't use like an ordinary foot presser to sew your zipper so this is my zip foot presser and i'm going to use it to attach the zip to the short so my overlap is going to be facing is going to be flapped to my left hand side so i'm going to first of all attach my zip shield and my zip to this side of the shot i i'm going to be confusing which side it is because you're looking at it through my camera so just look at what i'm doing so i'm going to put my zip like so and i'm going to lay my shield on the zip and so along that axis i'm just going to run stitches along that axis and stop there let me show you again so i'm going to place my zip like so and i put my shield like that and i'm going to sew along that axis so i took it over to my sewing machine you can see how i laid them together and i just ran stitches across that axis So when you are sewing a zipper, it's something you have to do slowly and you take caution because a little mistake, this is in the front of your trouser or your skirt or your shirt, is going to be very visible and it will ruin the overall look of the, of the piece you are making. So it's something you want to take your time sewing, okay? So this is what it looks like and you can see how the shield is already looking and how attached the zip looks this is what the back looks like so i've attached the zip shield and the zip to one side of the shot it's time to attach the fly to the zip fly to the other side of the shot so i'm just going to align my zip fly like so and secure it with some office pins to the other side of the fabric of the shot rather And I'm going to sew along that axis, just a straight stitch. So I took it over to my sewing machine and ran stitches across. You want to take your time when you are sewing towards the angled end of the zipper. Then I'm going to turn my seam allowance like so. And I'm going to do a top stitch now the reason for this top stitch you should make is to make sure that the zip um, fly is well laid and it doesn't puff out after you zip the after you're done zipping up your trouser or your short or your skirt so this is what it looks like this is that was the back that was the front this is what the back looks like now one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the zip fly on a fold as the way it's looking now overlaps the zip a little like it just covers it up a little not so much just very little not even up to half an inch like half a half half of half of half of an inch yeah but it covers it just a little so this is what i'm trying to show you here So this is the back. Now you are going to attach the zip to the zip fly like so. Like you are just going to attach the zip to the zip fly and run stitches across. Yeah. 
you're just going to run stitches across that axis so i took it back to my sewing machine and i attached the zip to the zip fly now this one was very easy to do it wasn't technical at all so this is what it looks like after i'm done attaching the zip to the zip fly now the zip has successfully been attached to both the shield and the fly now you want to make sure the fly is in place like it's not jumping up and down and moving so what i'm going to do here is What I'm going to do here is I'm going to run stitches like so. I'm just going to follow the shape of my zip fly and run stitches like so. Good. So now before you run the stitches like so, like I explained, you're going to make sure that the shield is not overlapping the fly. You want to take the shield to one side. You're supposed to be top stitching only the zip fly. So to do to ensure that I just use some office pin and I pin the zip shield away and so when I took it like what I'm going to have only on my sewing dog feed is just the zip fly that I want to run stitches across. So I'm on my sewing machine now and I just ran stitches across without bothering myself about whether the shield is getting in place of the sh of the of the stitches because I've secured it with pin to the other side of the fabric. So I kind of really took my time to do this because this is the front part of the shirt and you want to make sure your stitches are even if they are curvable they are somehow curvy straight and they are in place and they don't look clumsy so you really want to take your time to do this so this is what it looks like or it looks like when i was done sewing and top stitching so this is you can see the shape i'm sure you've seen a lot of this on your trousers if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this tutorial so let me just show it show you what it looks like in action so this is what it looks like this can sit on your trouser on your skirt on your shirt whatever you want to put it on don't forget to like share and subscribe please subscribe to this channel it means a lot to me and do come back for more videos and i'll see you in my next if you're not subscribed please 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 and please subscribe to my channel thank you bye